LeBron James' comments were blank. Inappropriate. Are you comfortable with where your minutes are right now, or are they too high right now? Uh, 43 is. I'm not complaining, but you know, right now we're just trying to get out of the hole. LeBron made it very clear. He wanted to come play for a team that would spend unconditionally, no matter what it took. Uh, whiny. Yeah, we got to figure it out. It's been a, it's been a 2017 so far. Uh, all the above. Can't play fantasy basketball. We got who we got. We got to go out and play. That's kind of a generational thing, and I think this is LeBron kind of speaking out too for a, a group of NBA players that get dogged all the time by this former group. The Cleveland Cavaliers. They have given him everything he wanted. This notion that he's got to have all the best players on his team. He's got Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love. He don't want to compete. He want to be the favorite all the time. It just pisses me off that a guy that great don't want to compete. Do <laughs> you expect any more news before the trade deadline? Uh, if it happens, it happens. But, you know, we got what we got. We got to get better every day and we'll do that. Number one, I have no problem with what LeBron said. Uh, some of it was true. Uh, I did pay my debt. That's not true. I was never late to the All-Star game. Uh, so that's not true. Uh, so, But I, I don't overreact. I'm not going to say anything bad about him or get personal. I appreciate him reading. Uh, 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 what, do they, what do they call it when you go on the Internet and find out things about people? They Googled you. Yeah. I'm glad. Uh, clearly he Googled me and found out some things. Uh, because I think he was young when I was playing, so he clearly Googled me, so I appreciate that. Charles, why do you believe he took the conversation in a personal direction? Well, I think when you don't like the message, you just kill the messenger. Uh, and that still does, uh, am I, some of those things he said about me are correct. That still does not make my message incorrect. I thought he was really whiny and complaining the last couple of weeks, talking about he got no help. I'm like, Dude, you just won the championship, and it's the middle of the season, and you're just bashing your teammates. I think that that wasn't right. He called you a hater, though. There's no, you don't think there's any. Oh no, no. That's the, listen. Anytime you criticize any of these young guys, you're a hater. Come on, man. You know that's silly. That's like the uh, big, that's any, the big any, buzzword. Any type of criticism, any type of criticism of any player today, that's the word they use. Hater. They never ask you if the criticism fair or not. If you say anything about any player. In the last probably 10 years, that's the word they use. So I don't get offended by that. Wait a minute. I've said the guy is one of the 10 greatest players ever. Right. I've said the guy is the best player in the world. I've said he's a wonderful guy. I'm not sure how that constitutes hating just because I say he's coming out bashing his teammates every day and he's got Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving, they're defending champions.